somebody would get on the telephone at a certain point, secretly upstairs in the secret room, and they would like read like the press agent for the play, the review over the phone. And suddenly this hand is thrust in, into the table saying, Trip! And the agents at the table, mine included, literally clawed their way to get the paper. And my agent got it, he says, I got it, I got it, I got it! Yeah. All right. A bomb was dropped in the form of a play tonight at the something theater. Walter Kerr. <laughs> it was like a gut shot. And he read this horrible review. He said, well, I'll wait for the Times. And suddenly the Times came. And they scrambled for it. It was worse. It was a disaster. A disaster. It just got thoroughly panned. And I sat there like in shock. And it was a huge flop. Right? I mean, the critics just really didn't buy it. They didn't go for it. Now, the moment that happened, people started to exit. See ya. Take care. Bye-bye. In other words, people just faded away. You know what I mean? In other words, you notice the room was emptying out. You know, that that's... And because... I mean, of course, like the stars and the producers and, you know, and playwrights and all, they would be the first to know. They would be secretly invited back into the secret upstairs room at Sardis, right? And they would be told, so they would go out. They'd never return to their place. Never. Nobody is going to say out loud, it's a turkey, it's a bomb. You know? Nobody's going to say that that night at Sardis. But it's one of those things you're supposed to tacitly grasp by the change in the air, as it were. The whole place emptied out, most of this table emptied out, and I was there alone. That's right. Reverend was left at the table with all the food. Oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> I probably shouldn't laugh. I suppose it's that, but it's funny. <laughs>